Hey, what is up everyone? It's me again. I'm back with another video and we're going to talk about how, we're going to talk about how Rashida Talib sold you out before she was even elected. So, we know that Rashida Talib took J Street money in 2018 when she was a candidate. Rashida Talib took money from J Street. Has some kind of friendship with J Street cult leader and lead propagandist Jeremy Ben Ami. Okay. Rashida was endorsed by also endorsed by Foreign Policy for America, another liberal Zionist organization, also headed by none other than Jeremy Ben Ami. Rashida Talib also is friends with Zionist propagandist and war criminal Steve Tabachman, who runs the a Zionist entity collaboration called the Michigan Israel Booster, um, and they norm and he's a normalizer of the Zionist entity, and he is a collaborator within the Zionist entity. Okay, and <clears throat> furthermore, Rashida Tlaib voted to give money to the Zionist entity in the CARES Act, which is the largest upward transfer of wealth in U.S. history, okay? She voted in for the CARES Act, which gave the Zionist entity money for missiles. And now we all know how those missiles are used. Those missiles are used to commit war crimes, and that's what Rashida Tlaib voted for. Also, in 2018 or 2019, Rashida Tlaib uh, was exposed on Twitter <clears throat> For posting a photo with Zionist uh, organization, liberal Zionist organization, if not now, which opposes extraditing settlers and peddle in Zionist propaganda and Zionist tropes. And Rashida Tlaib voted for Nancy Pelosi for speaker in 2021. And Nancy Pelosi is a Zionist and an imperialist and a war criminal that likes to cover up torture and war crimes. So that's how you know Rashida Tlaib. So there's a trajectory of Rashida Tlaib selling you out. There's a continued pattern of Rashida Tlaib selling you out. But you dumb liberals, you dumb liberal clowns, and you dumb DSA members, and Justice Democrats and Jacobins and all this kind of crap, you guys keep supporting Rashida Tlaib. Because you don't care about Palestine. You truly don't care about Palestine. Rashida Tlaib sold you out before she was even elected by taking J Street money, accepting a doors, an endorsement from Foreign Policy for America, both of which are run by Zionist propagandist Jeremy Ben Ami. She was also mentored by another Zionist propagandist named Steve Tabachman, who literally is part of an organization called the Michigan Israel Economic Booster. Literally, you cannot make this up. She is literally friends and mentored by a Zionist criminal, a Zionist propagandist criminal. And she voted for the CARES Act, the largest upward transfer of wealth in US history, which gave the Zionist entity money for building missiles that they're gonna use to commit war crimes she did a photo op with a Zionist organization called If Not Now, who oppose extraditing settlers and peddle in Zionist tropes of all kinds and have insidious, evil members. And she voted for Nancy Pelosi for speaker. And Nancy Pelosi, as we know, is a Zionist war criminal and imperialist. And then she wants to push all this kabuki theater about impeaching Trump when she didn't have the political courage to stand up for Palestine. She didn't have the political courage to, to push Nancy Pelosi on, on foreign policy or push Nancy Pelosi on single-payer health care or just even call out Nancy Pelosi in general. She did that goofy photo op with the other members of the hashtag fraud squad with Ilhan Omar, Alexander ocasio Colte, with Jamal Bowman, Cori Bush, Ayanna Presley, all these imperialist Zionist clowns, she did a photo op with them. She did a photo op with them. Instead of after they voted for a war criminal and a Zio imperialist, 
who covers up torture programs, and who commits war crimes herself. This is despicable. It shows you who Rashida Talib really is. She's not for the people. She's there to advance her own career. She's there to profit for personal gain and not help you guys. She is a scam artist and a fraud, and we will hold her accountable, and we will hopefully get her prosecuted for aiding and abetting the Zionist entity. Her grandma lives in the same uh, neighborhood in Quds where my great-great-grandfather came from, okay? Her family and my family are both from a neighborhood called Bet Hanina, okay? My great-great-grandfather was from Bet Hanina, okay? Her grandma lives in Bet Hanina. We're literally from the same neighborhood in Quds originally. Although I also do have ancestry and, and family roots in Rafa and Gaza. Um, my third great grandmother was from Gaza, from Rafa. But see, we have, we're literally from the same place originally, yet she sells out our entire community. And all you, all you diaspora Palestinians that sold out to Rashida Tlaib, that sold out to Bernie Sanders, that sold out to AOC, you guys are part of the problem. Because instead of holding these politicians accountable, instead of saying, no, screw you, I'm not going to vote for you, what'd you guys do? You swept the entire issue of Palestine under a rug and you sold out to literal Zionists and Zionist collaborators. Shame on you, especially you, Ray Hanania, especially you, Nura Arakat, especially you, Rashida Talib, especially you, Ali Abu Nima, for pushing Bernie Sanders and for, for, for dogpiling on Stephen Saleta when he called out Abby Martin. Shame on you guys. Shame, shame, shame on you guys because this is why we have these right-wing extremist politicians like Bernie Sanders, Rashida Tlaib, that are literally neocons in disguise and that either collaborate with the Zionist entity, collaborate with the Zionist lobby, or are Zionist settlers themselves. That's why we're in this situation. Rashida Tlaib exposed herself as a candidate, yet you still chose to support her. Shame on you. Shame on you. I remember I was in Seattle in 2018, in Seattle for my cousin's wedding. And when I found this shit out, when I found out Rashida Tlaib had taken J Street money, and I Googled the shit right away. But you dumb clowns, shame on you. And any Palestinian that promotes the hashtag fraud squad or, or supported Bernie Sanders or supported any Democrat politicians in the last election cycle, you're a fraud. You're a fraud, you're a disgrace to the diaspora, and you're what's wrong with the diaspora. Come on now, wake up. Wake up. We don't have time for this, man. We want to liberate Palestine. If we want to liberate Palestine, and if we want to get the Zionist settlers extradited, if we want to get every single settler extradited, we can't be electing these Zionist proxies to Congress. We can't be electing Zionist settlers like Bernie Sanders, Zionist proxies and collaborators like Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar to Congress. We can't afford this, man. So decide what are you going to do? Are you, which side are you on? Simple as that. And when you decide which side you're on, tell me so I know if I can be your friend or not. So that's... That's exposing Rashida Tlaib. That's all for right now. We're going to have a couple videos. We're going to expose Lionel Messi. We're going to expose Mesut Ozil. We're going to expose Bernie Sanders yet again. There's a lot of people I want to expose. Oh, we're going to expose former Clinton campaign employee, Mike Kikukawa. We're going to expose him too. But we got some people to expose, man. We're going to be muckraking journalists till the day's over. And that's how we're going to win. That's all for today. Like, subscribe. Peace.